Okay, are we ready? Uh, welcome. Welcome to our cross-company uh, community manager call. I'm Achim uh, from uh, Digital Life at uh, Daimler. Um, welcome also to the social internet, uh, to the social internet of Daimler and the social internet of Bosch and of ZF. Because we are all working in the social internet, uh, we are community managers. And um, well, at some point we noticed we hardly know what's going on in other companies' communities. Uh, so uh, we had this idea um, to bring communities from different companies uh, together, to bring their community managers together. And um, therefore now we are here for the cross-company community call to hear some stories from real community managers within companies on social internet. Um, yeah, uh, I said who I am. I'm Achim, Digital Life at Daimler. Um, I coordinate community management for Daimler, mainly in Europe. And I'm part of the Digital Life team in the, um, in the strategy department of uh, Daimler. And um, how about your other hosts, Steffi and Rebecca? Would you please introduce yourselves? Okay, so hi, my name is Steffi Markovic. I'm working at Bosch um, in the corporate IT and um, I'm the product owner of the social collaboration portfolio and one of many, many topics our team is responsible for is um, corporate community management. My name is Rebecca, I'm working at ZF and working here in international HR development. I'm concerned with different topics around learning and some of them are networked work and mindfulness. Okay, thank you. Let's have a look maybe at some organizational questions, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. So just some information on how to use this tool. Obviously you all managed to log in successfully in case you have some audio problems, you can always dial in via phone. You will find the, the data in the invitation, in your Outlook invitation. Please mute yourself if you don't have a question or if you uh, yeah, don't want to be, be active so we can avoid background noises. But please get into exchange, ask everything that you're curious about and use the chat. And you can use the chat and just um, yeah, activate it on the right side of the control panel. And to let us know that this is working, just give us a short hi in the chat. Hi. Or I'm with yourself, right? <laughs> oh, there are so many highs going on. Yeah. <laughs> Great energy for this afternoon or morning. Super. <laughs> Okay, so Thanks technology work. seems to be working. That's great. Okay. So then, of course, we also have some information on data security and antitrust code of conduct. So, um, yeah, since we are sharing information cross company wide, um, I just tell you what is in the in the red traffic light. So, please don't share any internal information. Um, related to prices or conditions, um, the service quality of IT providers or other business related topics um, like sales stuff, purchasing R&D and so on. Please don't take screenshots. Um, it's also not necessary to take uh, screenshots because we will record the session and you can also watch it afterwards. So you should have everything in there and um, please don't publish anything that you see today um, yeah, on the internet. Okay, wonderful. Um, let's go back from the, the rather sad content to the um, uplifting content. What's the agenda for today? We have three communities uh, for today. Uh, the Rebecca will start with the mindfulness community at ZF. After that, uh, we have a guest from Bosch, Heike Paul, who is a community manager of the Digital Workplace community. And then, last but not least, uh, Oliver Herbert from Daimler will talk about um, his uh, two communities, 
One is about the informal you, which is a big issue in Germany, <laughs> like colleagues, uh, colleagues using the informal you to each other and his digital transformational exchange group. So I'm very much looking forward to, um, to the program. And um, well, it's up to you. It's your turn, uh, Rebecca, then. Great. So actually, I'd like to show you two communities that we are using at ZF around the topic of learning. And I'd like to start with one community that we used when that have rolled out its social intranet beginning of this year. We had a big training approach. And what I think was really successful is that we could do most of the trainings with internal volunteers who were passionate about explaining this new tool. So maybe this can be also expiring for some of you in case you plan any training activities. So we founded this community of Zoom trainers. And the target of this community is to just enable everyone at ZF to see the benefits of this new tool and promote social collaboration and also social learning. And thus, yeah, really help ZF to become a more networked and sharing organization. And I'd like to just give you some insights into this community. Maybe we can get started with what kind of trainings we uh, produced. So we had some web-based trainings around our social intranets, but the most effort for the trainings for the trainers was to convey webinars. And we designed the contents together and tried to be very authentic in what kind of use cases are well suited for the social intranets and just uh, convey our experiences. And I think what is special in this community is that we didn't use a formal learning management system, but that we just, yeah, were able to, to finish all our tasks with a community and some SharePoint workflows. So you can see here, that's our community, the trainer toolbox with a calendar to add some new sessions, templates for all workflows like um, participant communication, making sure everyone knows when the next session takes place and what kind of contents we will be providing. Useful links for learners around what kind of trainings are available and how to register. And for me, this community really is a success story because we were able Well, one thing I want to just quickly share with you what was really helpful after the first weeks of our community, we divided our task and yeah, organized ourselves a bit better through task packages. So I'll just give you a glimpse of that. So we thought what kind of task do we have to do? to make sure that we can reach our target of enabling ZF's managers and employees. And you can see here the different work packages, like session planning, making sure that the training content is up to date, onboarding for the community or community activation, and then just really um, yeah, um, distributed the different tasks. And that, very much helped to make this community more successful. So that is one overview of the Zoom trainer community. And to wrap this up, last year we had around 140 webinar sessions around the world. Uh, we had some more sessions now beginning uh, of this year. And if we calculate around 200 euro for each webinar, we save 30,000 euro, which is fantastic. So I think a very good use case for communities in a learning context. Another community that I would like to share with you is the mindfulness community. And here we also worked in a context of learning. 
because we set up this community that really learn from each other what is mindfulness in a business context and is it even relevant for us when we're working or is it just something that's private? So what we want to do in this community is just discover the different aspects of mindfulness explore what it really means and connect it to our work life if it seems uh, helpful for us. This is a very young community and we started it with a learning journey and I thought maybe this can be also interesting for you. So we set up a six-week uh, learning journey, mindfulness at ZF, and ask before starting this program, what would be most interesting for you, ZF community? What kind of topics around mindfulness would you be curious around about? And did a voting. And then according to the voting, we set up the course. And I'll just show you our community so you can just look at it. That's again, the community that's public, everyone can participate. And then you see the introduction for each topic. We had a short call each week and then just each week some uh, short inputs or discussions to get a bit closer to what mindfulness can mean in our environment. And actually tomorrow will be our wrap up. And I'm very curious what our next steps will be. For me, this was really an exper experiment, learning and doing a learning course in a community that was very interesting. And we had some heated discussions that I very much appreciate. Yeah, so, so much for some short introductions on how communities have been used at ZF in a learning environment. We'd have around two minutes for questions, but we could also just do that at the end of our session. Okay, any questions um, regarding Rebecca's communities? I would maybe have a question. Here's Stephanie from Continental speaking. So, first of all, hello. Hello. First of all, thanks for sharing this and for these very helpful insights. Um, I would just be curious whether you have, for example, regular meetings with your community man uh, members and um, on which regular basis you have them. Mm -hmm. So for the Zoom trainers, we have rather regular calls, maybe every two months. And mm -hmm. always when there is a release update around Zoom, around our system. So then we have IT calls in addition to that. For mindfulness for the journey, we now had weekly calls, but it was just part of this learning program. So for now, there's no regular calls being planned. Mm -hmm. There are some ideas to, to meet non-virtually, so to maybe have lunch break meditations face to face or connect people like mindful bodies in a physical way, but not really regular community calls are planned right now. All right, thank you. Sure. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. Thank, thank you, Rebecca. Um, uh, I think we pass over to uh, Heike, Paul and Bosch. But nevertheless, if you have more questions, don't hesitate to uh, keep posting them in the chat. We, we will answer all the questions after the, the call uh, on the platform. We will publish a link. Um, so um, yeah, keep on asking and now passing on to Heike. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, also from my side, uh, welcome uh, to all participants in this call. Um, I will share my screen. Okay, um, some words um, to my person. Uh, my name is Heike Paul. I'm um, with Bosch since uh, 23 years. And since 2014, I am certified corporate senior community manager in Bosch. 
yeah, long title. Um, today I'm here um, in this call um, to talk a bit uh, about the NGW community um, with its um, 36,000 members. Um, for For all of you um, who don't know um, what's NGW and NGS, um, NGW is um, the digital workplace at Bosch. Um, it's a computer or mobile device, um, including all the software and services a Bosch associate needs to his daily work. And NGS um, stands for Next generation support services and um, it makes it easy to find, request, receive um, and manage all kind of um, IT services and support. What you can see here now um, is the so name, we, we call it um, landing page of a community and um, to compare it, um, this is how it looks like when um, community is just created. So empty and let me say a little bit boring. So go back to the colorful landing page of the NGW NGS community. Um, what I tried here um, in the landing page is um, to make a nice looking and easy to navigate um, a landing page with a lot of buttons. Um, here are um, on top, for example, um, buttons um, for uh, latest news on NGW and latest news on NGS. It goes directly into the blog but then um, filtered the blog, blog posts um, by the tag NGW or NGS. Or we have um, below further information, we have a button um, that goes to our videos. It links directly into our yeah, new Bosch tube platform. We have a new um, platform, <laughs> we call it Bosch tube. And um, there we have an own uh, channel. It's called Digital Workplace. And um, all the um, members or interested readers in this community can there find um, short video clips, um, um, professional made by um, marketing or also um, short video clips made by uh, the tool owners, um, how to use their tool. Um, we have um, a lot of um, buttons here on the right side, um, all about tools and services. Um, all these tools or services you can see here, um, belongs to NGW and NGS. And um, when you click here on these buttons, you um, get directly linked to another wiki page. I call it um, a tool entry page. Um, and um, here you find, uh, you, you get um, more links to this tool or service. You can see here a list um, on the left side um, with a collection of all the wiki pages we have in our NGW NGS community. And um, all these all about wiki pages look the same like this. Um, when you have here um, uh, links, you have here links uh, to latest news, related links, questions and feedbacks, requirement and ideas, and you get all these links um, also for the other uh, tools. 
when you click here, you get the latest news like on the landing page, um, what I showed you for NGW. When you click here, it's um, linked to the to all blog posts, but filtered by tags. Um, and in this case, um, that is the tag office. You have links um, to uh, Ducopedia um, sites, um, to FAQs, um, also to training, a link to trainings, um, but everything only for Office. So that when um, um, a reader, member in this community um, wants to have more information about Office, um, it's not necessary that he goes into different places. Um, he always um, get all information in these entry pages. Also, we have a lot of forums in our community for all these tools and services. Um, I showed you on the landing page, we have an own forum. And when you click here, you get directly linked into the office forum. And also for requirements and ideas, um, when you link here, you go directly into the uh, ideation block um, with um, all ideas filtered by the tag office. So you see, um, we have really built up our whole navigation on tagging. So it's very important that everything, all entries are really well tagged. Also one task of a community manager um, that we control of that. Um, then I would like to show you let me say the lifeline of our community. The community um, um, is already built up or was created uh, in the beginning of uh, 2013. Um, then Steffi, correct me if I'm wrong, it wasn't even launched the Bosch Connect tool, right? Um, Bosch Connect went live in September 2013. Yeah. Um, uh, at the beginning, at the start, um, there was a um, group of people. Um, they had the task to collect the requirements of uh, the Bosch people. And in their little group, they wanted to share um, all the knowledge and information. And uh, out of this um, community, when um, it came to the kickoff of the project NGW, um, then um, it started to get all the members on board. Um, around, um, let me say, five or six uh, days before this kickoff, I was asked to take over the community management of this community. And my first task was to make a relaunch of the community and get members on board. A very big success um, we had with this community was in July 2015. Then the community obtained two social business awards for um, best use case and most wanted within Bosch. Um, then the members grew up more and more and um, the rollout of NGW, so the next generation workplace took place in, in within two years. And then um, another project came across it. It's 
was called NGS, um, Next Generation Support Services. And it was decided that we want to bring together what belongs together. So um, out of the community NGW, we renamed it. And now it is uh, NGW NGS community. And as you can see, the members uh, grew up more and more and more. The last release, um, the last relaunch of the community was uh, beginning of this year. Um, the community got a totally new layout, design uh, and navigation. And uh, currently we have around um, 36,000 members out of 70 countries and we have um, around um, 50 new members each week. And yeah, new members, we um, welcome new members each week. That's a lot to do, I know, <laughs> but um, I'm not doing that um, alone. Um, I'm not the only community manager for the NGW NGS community. I have a, um, another community manager by my side, that's uh, Tanja Knorr-Sorbich. And um, together we welcome all new members each week with a post at the pin wall of each member, of each new member. And um, we also post there um, a link to a um, wiki page with a welcome. And um, also, we show in this um, wiki page the, com the community members what's their benefit with a membership in the community. That they get um, latest news on the topics NGW and NGS, that um, the communication managers public uh, regular official news about that. Um, we have um, quarterly mails to all communities with collections of helpful links or announcements for the next releases. Um, then um, another benefit of the community members um, are our big number of different forums. And we really believe uh, in the power of collective intelligence so we have not only um, people coming from the tool side um, we have a lot user with a big knowledge for example also for office or shape SharePoint um, who helps other users um, then the third I, I like to call it pillars um, of the community. So blog posts, forum, and the ideation blog. Um, we give the members um, the possibility to bring in their ideas to improve NGW and NGS. And there's a whole process behind um, so it's not possible that uh, a user can say, okay, I don't like the um, gray background, um, please change it to a green background because um, gray hurts my eyes. Um, there is a threshold um, and uh, all new incoming ideas um, need a minimum of 100 votes so that the tool owner is going to investigate the idea. Yeah, that's again the value add for the Bosch Associates. Um, they can read official news on NGW and NGS. NGW with all tools behind it. Um, the forum uh, gives the possibility to all um, community members to ask questions um, 
and uh, get replies on all these um, forums you can see here. And um, the ideation block um, that everyone can, can bring in his ideas. Uh, some numbers. Um, we have uh, currently around um, 690 blog posts um, and um, uh, we have uh, an average um, 15 new blog posts per month. Uh, in the forum we have uh, an average um, uh, 65 new questions per month and um, uh, an average uh, 290 new replies per month. So the community members are really active in the forum. And uh, um, best is um, the ideation block. Um, we have really um, uh, more than thousand ideas in this ideation block coming um, from all over the world. And um, we have uh, an average 24 news ideas per month. Yeah, what, okay, <laughs> three minutes left. Do you, do you have questions? Can I answer some questions of you? Yeah, it's truly impressive. Um, I think there were some questions in the chat. I'm just not sure if they were addressed to Heike. Um, some question was, um, so yeah, are you a dedicated community manager? What is the commitment and engagement profile of your community support personnel? Full-time, part-time, and so on. Oh, when, when this question is uh, going to me, I'm a 100% uh, community manager. I do really nothing else. And I'm happy with that for sure. Mm -hmm. I have also one question uh, regarding yes. your definition of community. You said your community got a redesign of, and the pillars are blogs, forums and, and ideation. I think uh, community could also be the, uh, the the people and the relations between the people. Do you have more a, a content-centric perspective on community management? Or are there also events where people meet, where trust is built, where people communicate in, in real life? Yeah, in, in this case, um, for the NGW, NGS community, it's more, from my side, a content view. Yes, but mm -hmm. I'm also a community manager of an organization community. And in, in that case, it's uh, more the view on the people in the community. Okay. So to engage them, to, to communicate and collaborate uh, together. Thanks. It depends on the use case of the community. You mentioned that you have uh, about 65 blog posts per month and also a lot of ideas suggested in the ideation blog. So I would be curious what in general or mainly those blog posts are about or for example ideas that are shared or that arise out of the community. Um, blog Posts are there are a lot of um, blog posts. Um, the most blog posts are coming from the communication managers. Um, as I told you already, it's not only my part um, to uh, do everything in or bring in content in the community. Um, I have um, five communication manager by my side, and they. Um, write blog posts um, if something um, is uh, changed in, in a platform, a new release of a tool, um, about all the tools um, belonging to NGW. All right. Thank you. Very helpful insight. Thank you. And okay. it, it's Thank not you. my part uh, as a community manager to write blog posts. 
Um, my part, um, my task as a community manager is to engage the people to write blog posts. I am in the happy position that I have um, five communication managers uh, by my side. So it's, it's not that difficult to get new blog posts in the community. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I, can I ask? Can I ask how many communities Bosch has? Steffi, I guess that's better for you. Uh, if you're able to answer that question. Yes, we have uh, approximately thirty-five thousand communities. And does each one have a community manager? Probably not, because. Um, <laughs> and each one have five communication managers. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, so every, everybody at Bosch can just go into Bosch Connect and create a new community if they like. Right. So, uh, we definitely have a lot of uh, old communities or stuff that was just created for testing. <laughs> um, but yeah, the really active communities usually also have a community manager. Yeah, if it's uh, if it's the same role and or the same effort that Heike is spending for her community, uh, I would not uh, confirm to that. And, and from my point of view, if the topic has enough or the use case for the community has enough um, management attention, then in most cases there is really a community. Okay, thank you very much. Um, uh, nevertheless, um, we need to do a cut, a little cut here because Oliver is waiting, um, but <laughs> no, he's not waiting, of course. Um, no, it was a very interesting insight. Thank you, Heike. Um, and it's for sure, uh, it really shows that there needs to be a professional community manager behind a, a community of class. Uh, so um, that's the message to all managers who still think communities are something that's um, that's a buy side product. Um, um, but now, um, Oliver, it's Oliver's turn. Um, Oliver is uh, from his main job, um, project manager, industrialization batteries, and he is doing two communities. Um, so the question to Oliver maybe is at this point, um, what's your first thought uh, on your mind when you get up in the early morning? Oh. Oh, it's a big question. Where is my smartphone or where's my coffee to look at my community? Now, the coffee is important. The smartphone today is for me all the social impact and all the social channels I, I, I'm on. And bring me back to my, my, to my first slide. Um, when you want to follow me, I'm Fleinsbach. That's also the, the nickname here. And if you search me in, in Twitter, you find me under Influencer. That's our, our name for the Daimler uh, influencers here in the company. We call also the Volicorns. It's also very funny when you follow the Volicorns. It's a little funny a group. Look at that. And um, the third one is Gianne Padu, that's typical German. We have also the English version, it's called Call Me By My Name, by my first name. And this is very important and because this community will come up now and it will show you. So let's start a little bit um, that you know where I am. And I'm a little bit different than others. I'm 24 years at Daimler, I get 23 years, one years longer. And I'm not on this world to be like others would like me to be. That means uh, I'm a little bit different, a little bit crazy. And that brings me a lot of fun uh, about my community management and what, what I'm doing there. And it's very important to be um, open and a little bit um, crazy to, to, to do that. Where I am, it's me. Um, I'm 150% a, a manager for battery production. Uh, we have project status. We are ramping up um, plans around, all around the world. It means a lot of traveling. And what I'm doing in the community management is also only my hobby. It's not professional. I have only with Achim doing a, a school trip here in, in, in here. The community manager qualification. Thank you, you're absolutely right. And this is all what I have here, but um, I come from Leadership 2020, you see it in the earlier phase. And it's important for me to, to, to go to the community and discuss with the people and connect to people. And you see also, it's only in German, I found no pictures in English. 
Jede Minute, die du lachst, verlängerst du deine Lebe, dein Leben um eine Stunde. Das means every minute you laugh, um, you have one hour longer in your life. That means have a little bit fun. It's also a motto for me. And um, left side also, where the magic happens means leave your comfort zone. And this is very important for me. Leave your comfort zone. This is the way this is working. I'm a football, American football addicted. Um, I'm not playing. Not, I'm not too talented too, but my son is playing I'm a lot of, a lot of um, games there, looking there and it's very interesting. So, but now I have three, I have two communities. The third is uh, in progress at the moment, but I will show you the digital transformation community. And also we call it a do just do it community and do community and give a little bit insights and also what is my my motto and my what I've learned over the last two and a half years here uh, when we started the social internet in 2017, which was 2017, I started with digital transformation community and um, in February 2018 we started the I do just community and uh, it was really interesting. This is a not a live picture, this is a photo uh, I will show you here. This is the community and I'll give you now also now a little bit the KPIs about this community that you, that you see. It's only, uh, what is very important for me, the people. You see right about the, the lot of people is coming from the digital connecting. I go a little bit deeper in the digital connecting because for me it's offline and online connections is the most important to, to bring the community together and grow um, together. That is very important and I've learned in the, in the past two and a half years. So, what this means for me, we have around 3,000 community members. Not 3,000, but I hope after this session, I have them 3,000. Uh, we are one of the biggest normal communities. We have a lot of professional communities, but uh, this around the, 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 the standard communities, we are in one of the biggest ones. We have around 300 uh, visits per day. And very important for us is learning, sharing, caring, and have fun. You know my motto from a little bit earlier, have fun one hour longer in your life. And for me, um, it's very important um, that I connect um, the online and the offline. We started online and we have uh, a growing community from, from day one. We're starting a, a, a good connection, but I have learned after six or nine months that it's not only uh, possible that the people are going offline, they know each other, but everybody said, oh, I want to know who's uh, the colleague there or the colleague there. And then I started by myself um, the, the Digital Connect Day. This was the first. And with the first Digital Connect Day in February 2018, we have 25 people who participated. Everybody said, it's not so big, it's, every, it's nice. Today, we have the next Digital Connect Day, the 6th of Digital Connect Day, we have now in June. We have 100 people. We are more and more professional. But what I don't want to do, because it's a, it's a, it's a hobby, more or less, uh, we have around, with the last five days, 400 participants. We have 65 presentations of whatever topics, collaboration, workplace, agile, mobile applications. We have a lot of topics. People connect to each other. We have a, 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 a lot of topics. They, they learn together and also they, they grow together and make um, new communities around that. Uh, about um, we call it Star Trek was a, was a big topic when you when you voice um, messaging and so on. It's very interesting. And today we are now sponsored. Every time I have a sponsor for room and for food is also important when you have bigger and bigger. And uh, it's poor networking. That means we're starting and having a lot of breaks into the day. That means not only presentation the, the whole day. It's a lot of that the people have the chance uh, to discuss with each other, know each other, see each other. Oh, I know you from the community, or you have the same topic, or we met us later in a Skype call about uh, uh, progress of, of a topic we have seen there. And this is uh, what I have learned. It's very important to bring online, also with offline. And this is a format we're doing in a very easy way. Every three months, we normally do a connect, digital connect day. And um, I think it's, it's very easy to, to manage that and so on. 
but very interesting and give us a lot of progress and also growing also in the community. And the highlight is when I, um, I give the invitation, last time we have three hours, every place was, was uh, closed. And uh, now we have four hours because it was a night break. But uh, overall, it's, it's very interesting that after that, um, a lot of people coming and say, oh, there's a waiting list or whatever. I said, I have no waiting list. It's no closed story. That's the end. More we cannot give. And we want not to be more and more uh, bigger. It makes sense to, to stay in this personal way. So the next community is the Do Just Do It. I have it. Stolen from my Bosch colleagues. No, uh, yeah, we have a good connect to, to our Bosch colleagues. And they have started it 2016, Gerhard Frisch and Kids Anderson. And we uh, have a meeting um, with them later to learn what they do with the do and uh, with the bracelets and all what they, they have. And we have said, okay, um, that we are doing, uh, we have also a cultural topic, a, a big company uh, is all, always the the same topic that you discuss the culture, how we work together, we're coming from leadership, and not everybody is per do, or per you, or whatever you want to say. It's a lot of formal and so on. And we want to say, uh, when you go on a social media platform or whatever, it makes more and more or less, um, it makes a sense that you are going to, to a, a C, because it's a little bit um, funny when you say, okay, see you here. And this makes us to bring us the idea that we are also going in this community in all the same way. We founded it in 2018. It's Thorsten Karnier. He is also in line. I hope he, he see and hear us. He's also here. Uh, we founded it. We started with a marketing uh, in 2017. End of 2017. We have today uh, 1,500 employees, which named the do or just do it or whatever in their social profile, in the social internet. We have until now eight offline events to learn from others, discuss with others also about to do. We have 5,000 recollets. We, we are our merchandising story. We have it internally. We're doing regular reports. Also, we have now uh, also top managers. they doing do. The last one is uh, from the shareholder conference yesterday, our new CFO. Is our newest member, he will also coming up, and he's also now wearing a bracelet. Very interesting. And I have learned that we are in the most named church, also in the social internet, this is a truth. And this is very interesting because normally nobody says it's so important, but you see there's a lot of discussion and going not only on the do, it's going on the cultural discussion, it's going on, on, on what we have, uh, hierarchy and so on. And this is the point uh, we're bringing up with this. We have right hand here, see you, the, the, the just do it, bracket. We have lanyards, post it, whatever you can order it in our internal store. Everybody can order it, and this is very important. And you have um, no um, way that you can say, okay, I, I don't wear it, just do it, and so on. It's very, very interesting. So I have only three minutes. Uh, let's go back. I am not a typical. I'm community manager. I, uh, I've never thought that I'd come to a community management. It's coming a little bit with Leadership 2020, and it's coming a little bit um, about um, my intent and my, my motivation. And I always say, uh, we are starting new companies. It's a new community. We have the feeling we are starting a new company. It's very interesting in the do a new cultural topic. And we, uh, I have a little bit too less time for lunch with my community managers, uh, community members. We're doing a, a lot, lot of, but uh, when you travel a lot of and so on, you have a regular job. It's not so easy to, to connect each other every day, but more and more we are doing this. And my proposal for all of us, it's only einfach mal machen, only, only doing. Just do it. Just do it. It's a good word. And this is this is my my mindset of how I work. And now, please, your questions. Yeah, exactly. You can ask um, Oliver questions, um, but maybe one question ahead. So, do you think? Uh, I mean, do is such a little thing, um, and you make a community out of it. Do mm -hmm. you think that changes anything in the company? Yes, absolutely. And how? And how that you 
going in discussions, uh, along the discussion about you or Z or whatever, bringing up, up discussions how we work together. It's not only that you use the word, it's, it's more that you have the, the chance to discuss about the cultural things and how you work together and so on. In my understanding, yes, I have the, the feeling that it's growing and it's discussion going around. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, uh, but let's have a look in the chat or in the audience. Are there any questions uh, for Oliver? Oliver, in one of your early slides, there was some mention of the number of visits per day. Does that mean you have some form of analytics available? Yes. It's one thing that we, I struggle with for some of our sites and tools that we have that it's very difficult to gauge how how popular they are or how well visited they are yeah it's, it's a good question yes we have but for me it's also important to go to lunch with with people from my communities to get feedback from their from the heavy users also from the from the less heavy users that you get feedback it's not only that you can measure and can say okay 300 whatever per day it's more or less also what are the topics at the moment? Uh, is it running or are we saying mm, a little bit boring or whatever? For me, it's more important to discuss with the people and learn what are what are discussing in the in the. You, you can post a lot of, but I think what what is for me important is is there a real discussion? And the real discussion means go go also um, offline and go into discussions. That's for me more than the analytics. Uh, yeah, Matt, to, to add something, there is uh, for sure an analytics tool in our social intranet. It's very simple because you might know that in Germany, it's not so easy to uh, to to do the like Google Analytics for intranets. Mm -hmm. That's uh, a data protection issue, but we can have an engagement profile that is the ratio of uh, passive uh, lurkers and uh, contributing users and really creating users. And that gives a, a, a rough uh, indication of um, is the community in a good shape? Is it doing well? And um, that's probably where you got your numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. There's one more question in the chat by Linda. And she asked Oliver, um, what are the benefits you see of being a community manager for your Leadership 2020 initiative? It's easy, it's spreading the word. I have learned in Leadership 2020, you can stay here in Stuttgart, have a, a discussion with, with your, we call it in Germany, Blase. And you can discuss with every colleague you know, um, but for me, it's spread the word, going around and with communities, I understand, and I, I've learned that this is not local Stuttgart. Also, the do communities more or less in Germany, but there is the digital transformation. We have also a lot of colleagues from US, from Brazil, from um, Australia, whatever. And this is for me a, a, a thing to learn. It is not only um, Stuttgart we are working on, uh, we have a, a company around the world. And that means to, when you want to bring a change uh, around, you have to go all around the world. And it's not so easy to go personally there. That means community management is for me also learning from around the world. That response reminds me of another question that I would like to ask, which I ask in every event like this, and that is how do people manage with different languages? Yes, that's a very interesting question. Uh, normally we are in German and we are, we are writing also a lot of in German, a few articles we're doing in, in other languages. Uh, we have also guests um, who are writing in English, but this is a big, big, question in Germany and I hope we, we find now a technical solution in the future, next future, that we can simultan translating, that we have not this discussion that you can write in German and you get Japanese or English. This is my, my dream, but at the moment you have um, a lot of German there and only your guest authors or, 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 or guests can, can write in other languages, but this is also a big discussion here. Okay, thank you. We have a couple of other, well, actually we are almost at the end, yeah. um, but if there's one more question, we could try to answer that.
Okay, so far, um, no other question, but um, we, as uh, there was a question in the chat, will the chat be available afterwards? Yes, the chat will be available afterwards and there will be a video recording um, of the, this community, cross company community call afterwards available. And, um, but now maybe we would like to ask the question to you, is this a event? Do you find this event good? Do, should we repeat it? Um, I think Steffi, um, you prepared it, or was it Rebecca? I don't remember. <laughs> we have prepared a little poll. Um, but um, also, apart from the poll, that is very simple, uh, we would uh, welcome your comments, your quality, uh, your quality comments in the chat um, regarding this community manager call, so we could do it uh, next time and could do it even better, maybe. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope it was good. I don't know. <laughs> Depends on what you more get. In, uh, more interesting speaker. <laughs> okay, um, Simon, are you there? Can we do the survey maybe? Yes, I'm about to start it. Okay, the survey starts in a couple of seconds. Okay, yeah, then it will pop up and then we would be glad if you could participate in the survey so we have some feedback. And um, as we said in the beginning, the session was recorded and will be available on YouTube shortly. For my Bosch colleagues, I will uh, I let you know that I will also upload it to Bosch Tube afterwards and um, yeah, you will also find it there. Hey, it's moving live, so. <laughs> so at least we have no big nose, that's good. Yeah, we should have not, yeah, okay. We shouldn't have said no, maybe something like, okay, so, so. <laughs> good, um, but anyway, thank you very much. I see that there is also activity going on in the chat, so one, two minutes left for any uh, additional remark from participants or additional questions. <clears throat> well, I would like to thank you for setting up this and I think it was a very, very helpful um, call and I think it's a great initiative if we start to enhance this collaboration or this cross-company collaboration on community management. So mm -hmm. thank you and I, I like that a lot and I learned a lot in this call. Uh, thank you, Stephanie. But by that way, I, it comes to my mind that, of course, we would also um, in, uh, like to invite other community managers from other companies. We can talk about that. You can contact us via Twitter or uh, wherever you see us, um, my Twitter handle is in the presentation, um, but also on the platform that Simon will communicate. So just keep coming back to us and maybe we can um, discuss some cooperation. Yes, of course, I'm also, for example, um, of course, willing to share also some of our communities, of course, big topic at Continental as well for our digital transformation. Um, with Office 365 and establishment of new work style. So I'm of course also happy to share something. Okay, then thank you. Um, thank you from my side, from Achim, uh, but um, Rebecca or Steffi, you can also add something if you want. <laughs> Thanks for joining and yeah, yes. see you soon. If there's special wishes for topics, also let us know, then we can see if we can uh, cater for that. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, then have a good afternoon, good evening. See you soon. We will keep uh, you tuned. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.